Hi friends, in this video we'll take a look at how to set up a shared folder with Vagrant in order to transfer files between your Windows or Mac host and virtual machines. The instructions in this video are for Windows and Mac as host machines, but with slightly different requirements. If you're new to Vagrant, make sure to watch my previous videos first about Vagrant to cover your basics. To enable a shared folder, which will be synced on your host and VM, we can add the following line in the Vagrant file. Here we only define two parameters, one for the path on our host and one for the VM. These two folders will be synced. Notice that even though I'm using a Windows host, I'll be entering the path with forward slashes and without entering the C drive. Synced folder has a few options, which you can read about on breakrentup.com. But for a basic setup, we don't need to use them. Just the path on your host machine and the path on your VM is sufficient. One option that could be important is the type which defines what type of synced folder you want to use. NFS, rsync and SMB are most used. But if you leave this empty, then Vagrant will choose which one to use based on your, your, your host. Unless you have a preference, just leave this undefined. When enabling synced folder on a Windows host, Vagrant will choose SMB and you'll need to make sure PowerShell 3 or higher is installed, your Windows account has admin permissions and it has a password assigned to it. On Mac you'll need to make sure file sharing is enabled under system preferences, but if somehow you don't manage to get it connected on your, connected on your Mac, then define rsync as type, which could work straight away. Then you'll just need to enter vagrant up or vagrant, vagrant reload to start up the VM and enable the shared folder. On a Windows host using SMB, you'll be prompted to enter your Windows credentials, which are just your current username and password. In this Windows terminal, I have two hor horizontal panes open. The top one is the VM and the bottom one is my Windows host. I have a video about increased productivity in Windows Terminal if you're interested. As an example, I'm creating a file in the VM, which is then available on the Windows host. This works the same on the Mac. Hope this video helps you to set up shared folders quickly in Vagrant and I'll see you in the next video.